Whenever world leaders gather, they are sure to be met by protesters. Witness what happened earlier this week when the leaders of Canada, Mexico, and the United States gathered in Montebello, Quebec. Protesters showed up right on cue, but they were also joined by police officers posing as part of the group. A move that many say crossed the line. As CTV's David Kincaid reports, a man from Nanaimo captured the action. This was the scene in Montebello, Quebec this week. Agitated protesters pushing, taunting the authorities with words and projectiles until police retaliated with pepper spray, tear gas, even rubber bullets. A short distance away, a more peaceful protest by union leaders and their supporters was also going on. All was calm until these three masked men joined in. Put the rock down! This is all right! Tensions increased when the trio, armed with large rocks, were accused of being police officers. There not to simply observe, but to incite violence. These three guys are cops, everybody! They're trying to create a riot so that they can suck us all in. Protesters say that would have given riot police an excuse to move in and break up the demonstration. Quebec police have now admitted the three masked men are officers, but deny they were there to stir up trouble. However, the Nanaimo documentary filmmaker who shot the videotape saw it differently. They've admitted that they are their officers, but they said that they're not provocateurs. But yet, the guy's got a rock in his hand. Come on. You know, the security was a federal issue at, the, at Montebello. And Stockwell Day is in charge of that. But Stockwell Day sees nothing wrong with the Quebec police actions. The overall rules are very clear. Uh, nobody's above the law and there'll be no inciting of violence, and I believe uh, they stayed with that commitment. The uh, video reports that we've seen uh, show, in fact, that these uh, undercover officers were exposed because they were not committing violence. Not true, say the people who were actually there. They say the officers were exposed, at least in part, because somebody noticed that while they were carefully covering their faces, they were still wearing their police-issued boots. David Kincaid, CTV News, Vancouver.